Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's salute is on uh, Pyrox Inferno XL from 2013, of course, of Brain Attack 2013, of course. So I'll start off with the bags, of course. You can see, well, whereas Inferno is in particular, first time of having a bag in this kind of large size, a little larger than the other. Than the medium sets, of course, but and of course, this did carry on into like Dragon Bolt and uh, Evo XL machine in the next couple of waves, of course. But as the Lego Hero Factory logos, a little bit of the Brain Attack logo and Brain Bug, of course, and picture of the set that comes within, and also the name of the set and points for the online game, and also so. Also includes a brain buck piece, of course. And then set number, or I mean age range, set number, amount of pieces. Oh, whoops. And on the back of each one, you see the picture of the set that there is, and also Pyrox's features, and oh, whoops. Also the combination model that they make, and also points for the online game and also actual size of the helmet the masks of which and yeah and now onto the manuals of which same picture as on the front of the bags obviously so the little comic strip for the online game or of the brain attack of course and also add for the online survey and then Lego Club and the Brainify app of course. And then add of the combination model that there is. Then add of the online app game that there is. And then the pieces that come with the set and the last step. <coughs> Huge add of it. The large add of all the villain sets of this wave. And then add out the combination model again. So, starting out with is with Pyrox. Which And quite nice and hefty uh, character, of course. At least play a bulk to him. And, and also quite more basic than that of in Breakout, of course. But yeah. As for the legs of which, as you can see, have the Ben 10 foot pieces in black, very nice, and also has the lower arm joint twice. So that gives him less posability in the legs, which I think they should have included these uh, kind of uh, ball joint pieces for the hands, also for that. But yeah, and also not not much of symmetry, but at least you get a size five armor piece that is in trans orange, and also some cool printing on it, which you can use with some fire mocks if you want. Now it's for the chest part of which have the like traditional under armor piece but in dark red of which good for mocking of course and also to get the black phantom ultra build chest plate piece but in plain uh in gunmetal gray quite nice and as for the arms of which which I zoom out on which as you has the same exact uh, rock add-on pieces like what Bruiser also had, and also set just like what last the prior year's Core Hunter set also had, but of which also in black and also the 
uh, Savage Planet clock pieces, but in trans orange. Quite nice, of course, for the other armor, which is traditional black hand piece and also these new flame pieces, which quite like, which where it's in translucent red and then to yellow, and of course were used later in Brain Attack and also in System Sense and also in Bonicle Generation 2 on uh, Master Tahu's uh, flame uh, flame sword that's in everything and yeah and you can twirl the spin of course and also if I can get this off is first use of this kind of piece of which with an axle hold there or just pin hole there into axle rods to the sides of which nice to have here and also first time using this kind of piece of which where it's like four uh, axle rod holes of which and I'll attach different things to it. So at least he was nice it was nice to include it in this set of course. And now on to the head of which as you can see as for the mask part of which which nicely done, like a nose ring in there, and also plenty of frightening teeth as well around, and also a few chin spikes around, of course, and attached like a bonicle mask, like the others, and also brain bug piece in yellow, quite nice, and the Ben 10 tail pieces in black, also nice, and also in my last review, I did say that Bruiser was, that he and Bruiser used it the opposite way but actually I was wrong Bruiser was the only one that did attach like the other villain sets and also for him in which quite like how he uses the elongated type uh, torso bit or body piece there or unlike with the other, some of the other sets of course and then of course coverage on the back from the brain bugs tail of course what else is there? Not much, but yeah. That is it for Pyrox. And now on to Stormer XL, or at this time our fifth version of Furno. Well, or maybe sixth if you include the version that was in the Furno bike set also in 2010 of course. And also uh what is there? Let's see. Also, kind of odd how he was chosen to be in this XL version or form, even though he might have still been a rookie or whatever. But maybe he's not much of a rookie anymore at this time, but yeah. As for the legs of which, kind of similar to Stormer XL's leg pieces. This with a lot of the friction joints there. And then as for the upper chest area, I would same chest plate as all the other hero sets had, but with the dual lock clamps, but in red. Ah, quite nice, of course. And also, just like what Furno Breakout also had, are these longer armor pieces in red, which but used on the chest part. Kind of interesting. And also, do get those other add on pieces from Savage Planet, of course. And that was for the arms of which which do have the like mace pieces on there. They're kinda of interesting. And also have some more of those size for three armor pieces, but in trans orange like we had on Bulk and Bruiser. And as for the sword of which, same exact flame piece that Pyrox also had, and also same sword piece that uh oh, what's his name? Raka also had, but in silver of which but then got a little more common eventually. And also does have and also those two Njago blade pieces acting as the sword hilt, of course. And as for this other hand of which which isn't really a hand piece, but kinda of similar to Furno 2.0's hand piece, but has a couple more of those flame pieces and 
also two of these new fin shield pieces which in the second wave uh, Surge uses as wings of course but if you put them like this and it forms the Hero Factory H symbol which is kind of cool quite cool that and as for the head part of which if I zoom here oh if I take this visor piece off, of course, hang on. And also, he was only one of this wave to use the new headpiece, but in yellow, which is quite cool and interesting for that. But as for his mask, of which, or helmet, of which, kind of similar to Furno uh, 1.0 breakout helmets, but instead it's modified a little larger and also a large gap there for the visor, of course. And as the visor, which uh, this time in clear and also with printing on it, which uh, Stormer and uh, Surge in Wave 2 also did. So, at least, so he was kind of a standout, just well, at least for the current time of which. And for the back of which, it was the first time that Hero Factories introduced to capes, of which, so I see it's like a full cape piece instead of being tattered like uh, Vizons, uh, which, but also one with sort of Fangar and Jima, of course, and look underneath the witch. Just a few various Technic bits holding that, and of course holding it and the arms of which, just like what, kind of similar to the Hulk buildable figure and uh, Stormer XL of the year, Briar Wave also did. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are two quite good sets for that. Well, Furno of which, Furno XL of which, is quite nicely done one. At least have a few. Well, in Pyrox's case, a few good recolors of pieces of which, and a few new uh, pieces for on both of them, of course, and also a couple of nice recolors for Furno XL, of course, and also nice to have the blink pieces for the first time, of course. Well, as for Pyrox, which you may be kind of like may have some stumpy bits to it, but at least that's alright. Although I think. Although some, a little bit more could have been added to to Pyrox or which, but at least I can kind of forgive him or forget how he came out. But yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.